Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rich from Streak here, Hempstead, New York. Today we're going to review the Christmas shoe. These are the Jordan 11. These are the cool grays. Uh, box price, box price two twenty-five. Uh, I'm gonna get my glasses to read the, the color. Medium gray, multicolor, multi. Okay, I guess that's always what it was said on the box. Um, like I said, this shoe's coming out twelve eleven. Um, but now but they used to bring it right at Christmas time. I think this when the shoe originally came out. Uh, when it came out in 2001, um, 2010, and now it was the 20 year anniversary, 2021. Uh, I think last year it was like 12, 23, it was like two days before Christmas, but they've started to bring it away from uh, Christmas Eve, the date, which is actually a little bit, a little bit better for us retailers. Um, yeah, so this is going to be 12, 11, which is, which is a good date. Um, like I said, 225. Uh, the box is, of course, it's corresponding, you know, with the shoe, the cool grays. You know, I always have to mention, you know, I, I know it's been COVID, maybe that's the reason why, but I, I like a, I hate to say it, more to the box, to the paper, for the cool grays, or for any, well, just for any retro um, 11 for Christmas time. Like I always said, it's like, almost like opening up a Christmas present when you open up the box, but it's still a cool box. It just, it could have been more, but we have to, you know, give them, I mean, they've been doing a very good job, Nike and George Brand, by getting product out, but maybe they couldn't do, um, all the extra to the box, but it's still a cool, it's cool, it's cool looking. And of course, these are the cool grades. These are legendary shoes here. Um, anyway, so we're gonna get a little history on the shoe. Uh, the shoe comes out ninety five, ninety six. Tinker Hatfield shoe. Um, Mike wanted. Um, it's just a phone ring in the background. They'll they'll pick it up. Um, Tinker wanted a, a, to to model it after a car, and Mike. So that's where this this um, patent leather comes from. A couple of reasons why they use patent leather, but this was for the, like the metal of the car, and this you know the cordure and this soft leather here uh, was for the, uh, the new book was for the uh, the hard top like the rag top. Uh, it was also said it was also after a lawnmower, but sometimes they used to they used to model cars actually after lawnmowers. It was like a, a thing back then, um, or vice versa. Actually, lawnmowers after vehicles, cars. But anyway, yeah. So like I said, ninety five, ninety six. Um, this shoe also is known as the tuxedo shoe. Uh, it was for one, I think it was Boys to Men. Uh, that was the group that originally um, walked out on the stage with it during the music awards. Um, so that's where it got the name tux Tuxedo Shoe because people used to wear tuxedos with the shoe as well. Um, it's got a carbon fiber plate here on the bottom, full air bottom. This one has the icy blue on it. Uh, the one bef that this is 21, the 2010 had the icy blue. The original one did not. Um, and also the, the original one, I'm oh, sorry about that. Um, the original one's Jumpman in the back was facing forward, like both of these are. The second one, the 2010, was reversed was reversed backwards for some reason. I don't know why they did it, but they did. But now this one is coming back forward again, um, which I think is the appropriate way for it to for it to land uh, the Jumpman. Um, it's got the basketball cord laces on it. It's a like I said, it's a really soft, smooth leather here or new buck. Yeah, it's really nice. Even the tongue is nice. Um, you got your Jumpman Jordan here in that. Greek style writing. Um, on the back, you've got the, the 23. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, this is actually. I don't know if, it, if it's printed or if that's stitched. Cause I like it a little bit better when it's stitched. It might actually be a little stitched there. My eyes are getting going bad, but yeah. Um, it de it definitely looks cleaner this time. The 23. I saw it on the, one of the other ones. I didn't really like it. It looked a little bit too pasty on it. But this is. Yeah, I could be wrong. It could just be my eyes not looking at it. Quick. I can't get a clear look on it, but it's very it's it's a good job done back on that twenty three back there now. Um yeah, just look inside here. There's your yeah, it's got a white jump man in there. Yeah, the cool grays are just listen, this is a legendary shoe. I mean, it's not one of the original retro colorways, but it's got the, the prestige and and the hype with an original colorway. This is like I said, when the cool grays came out, it was a it was a it was a big, it was a big splash, and, and it's always going to be a big splash on this shoe. Um, like I said, it's a great Christmas shoe. Uh, as far as hats go, I'm just going to put a couple of hats. It's pretty easy to match. You can kind of play with the colors different ways with a dark gray, light gray, blues. You can get a red with gray. It's a pretty forgiving shoe with um, hat colors. A lot of a lot of things work with it. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. And we got some shoes that we just got in. Let me show you these. Um, this is just the basic React shoe. It's very comfortable. It's 100 bucks. Uh, I like it. It's got this fly knit mesh material here. That's a pretty, it's a very good value at $100. These are blazers. I think these are hot as hell. Excuse my language. Uh, 110. It's the recycle that moved to zero. 
But these have a really co cool look, and these shoes have been checking, especially for 110, so I like these a lot. Got some couple Air Max um, 270s. Um, this shoe, we, this color we've had, we've, this one's a little bit different. Uh, these are 150. This is a nice shoe. This is the 2021 Air Max. This is 160. Uh, that's a really nice looking shoe. And it's also a move to zero, which I didn't really even realize. Uh, good looking shoe. This is a good move for a new Air Max shoe, 2021. Another colorway, uh, you might have seen it around, but we just got it in. Um, Air Max um, 95. These are 170. On the back row here, we'll start with the Gore-Tex. This is $150, this Gore-Tex. Um, nice black, you know, Gore-Tex shoe there for, for an Air Force 150. Nice. This is a premium. You can tell how the soft the leather. It's got like a butter soft leather. These are, I believe, 120. Yeah, these are 120. These are nice. A little cream with the burgundy. That's a nice hit there. These I'm going to put in here. These are women's Air Force. Um, I'm just going to show it to you. Um, these are... These, a lot of times we'll buy women's Air Force to, to sell to men for the colors, but these only go up to size 10, women's. Uh, but I thought it was pretty cool with that chain. And this one's got the velvet on there. These are 110. These are just for women, though. Pretty cool. And these, you've seen, they, they always come out with this. It's a premium. It's an all-red Air Force. Those are 110 as well. Uh, all-red Air Force. These are nice. Uh, and then these are two ninety dollars Air Force. You've got a Carolina blue and a, um, a white and orange. I really like the white and orange. That pops. A lot, of, a lot of clothing in here that matches up with that. But, um, yeah, just to show you a couple a couple of shoes. Um, the next shoe that we're going to be reviewing is the that handcrafted one. Uh, really nice looking shoe. I can't wait to, to show it to you and review it. Um, it's in the middle of like a biohack and a prototype shoe. Um, the head come out. But, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll do it next week to go over it in depth. But that will be the next one we'll do. And then I think after that we'll probably do the... Uh, the bread ones, the patent leathers will be the next after that review. So that's it, yeah, so take your last look at your cool gray 11s. Streak gear out.